Today we're going to be showing you how to change the oil in a Vortec V3 supercharger. Um, it's pretty much the same process across all of our V3 units, uh, but just to make it easier for uh, everybody to see, we're going to shoot this video on this uh, GMLS engine that we have on display. If you purchase your supercharger brand new through us or through one of our distributors, uh, when you receive it, you're gonna see that there's a couple warning labels attached to it and as well as an extra uh, plug. What this is, is a vent plug. This needs to be installed on the gear case of the supercharger uh, to keep any excessive pressure from building inside the gear case and possibly causing a leak. Uh, so what you'll notice is that this plug is attached to another plug on the gear case via the safety wire here. Uh, so just go ahead and remove that flat shipping plug. Uh, and replace it with the provided vent plug. When you remove the shipping plug, you're gonna see that it's got its little copper washer attached to it. Go ahead and set that aside and locate your vent plug. We've included a new uh, crush washer, so you can go ahead and just use that one that's included and don't reuse the shipping one. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is get a 3 Allen wrench uh, and get it threaded into the gear case. Uh, you don't wanna over tighten it so you don't strip the threads, so just make sure it's nice and snug and you should be good. Depending on which supercharger kit it is that you have, uh, you're gonna see that the superchargers are sometimes mounted uh, tilted. Uh, driver's side, passenger side, if they're tilted, uh, the rule of thumb is that the fitting closest towards the bottom of the supercharger is always gonna be the dipstick. When you go ahead and fill your oil back in, you always wanna make sure that the dipstick is always at the bottom of the case. If the supercharger is tilted the other way, it's gonna be on this side. So in this case, this is the dipstick, this is your vent. Uh, we have some superchargers that are mounted perfectly vertical. If that's the case, uh, you can use either one, but usually we'll have the dipstick on the left side of the tag. Every V3 supercharger that we sell comes with a stainless steel oil drain line attached to it. This is the line that you're going to use to drain the oil in the supercharger. So whenever you install it on your car, you know, just make sure that it's routed towards the bottom of the vehicle uh, so it's easier for you to access. So for this part, you're gonna need your 9 16 wrench and a half inch wrench. What you're gonna wanna do is get the 9 16 and put that on the hose part of the fitting and then use your half inch wrench to take off the plug. Um, these usually aren't super tight, so you can just give it a quick little tug and it should come off. Uh, what you wanna do is remove this plug and let it drain into a, whatever oil pan that you use and make sure that you get all the oil out of there. Uh, what I would do is just probably wait a couple minutes just to make sure that it's nice and drained out of there and you don't have any excess sitting inside the supercharger. After all the oil is drained out of the supercharger, just make sure that you put your, uh, your fitting back into that drain line. You don't have to use any kind of thread sealant, just go ahead and tighten her up and make sure it's nice and snug. Um, so what you'll need to do now is remove the dipstick from the gear case of the supercharger. As I mentioned in this case, since it's tilted, it's gonna be this lower uh, fitting here. Uh, go ahead and remove it. As you can see, there's no oil registering on the hash marks of the dipstick, uh, so you know that it's drained. So we'll go ahead and leave this off and go grab our oil. Our V3 Superchargers uses a synthetic blend of oil that you can only purchase through us or our distributors. Uh, so make sure that you don't use anybody else's oil as you will cause damage to the, uh, the supercharger. Um, so as is seen here, here is our, uh, our oil that we use. Uh, if you don't have any more, or if you know, of course, if you ran out, uh, you can get some from our website, or you can check out any of our distributors to get a pack of three. Um, every pack will come with this uh, fill spout. Uh, what you need to do is remove that little red cap. As you can see, the orifice is kind of small, so you grab your cutters and just go ahead and cut off a little bit there, so it lets the oil flow, flow a little better, and uh, we'll go ahead and get this put on to our oil and go fill our supercharger. Now that you have your oil ready to go, just go ahead and place it into the hole of the gear case where your dipstick would normally go and just lightly squeeze it in, making sure not to uh, spill any oil out of the supercharger. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes, but just make sure you get the whole bottle in there. Usually one full bottle of the oil equals one oil change. Uh, so just go ahead and drain this bottle into the gear case and it should be enough fluid in the supercharger to keep it safe.
Now that you have the oil into the uh, supercharger, uh, you check the oil like you would on a car. So go ahead and put the dipstick back in, making sure that the crush washer is in place. Uh, go ahead and get the dipstick threaded in there. Uh, you don't have to tighten it all the way since we're just going to be checking the fluid level. Uh, make sure it bottoms out like it just did and then go ahead and remove the dipstick. Uh, you should see some oil registered on the hash marks here. So this tells me that th there's plenty of oil in the supercharger and you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, uh, just to be safe, fire up your car for about five minutes, let it idle, make sure all the oil works its way in, into the, uh, the bearings, uh, just to make sure, then go ahead and check again. As long as you're still on the hash marks, you should be good to go. So yeah, that's it. That's how you change your oil on a Vortec V3 supercharger.